Hello again, puzzle fans. This is Dennis Usulski, the creator of Tavern Puzzles. This is going to be our next installation of our video solutions of our tavern puzzles. Today's tavern puzzle that we're going to demonstrate is going to be the wise guy. The wise guy is in our group four. It's an intermediate challenge, and it's probably one of my favorites. This is the wise guy. Its object piece would be the ring. And instead of doing it as we've done in the past where we read each step, I'm going to go through in general terms and go through each of the figures as opposed to each of the uh, lines of the solution. So to get from this position to figure three, or figure two actually, um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the puzzle and we're going to elevate the back triangle, which allows the bales, these are the bales, to fold together. That's going to allow the ring to transfer from that triangle to this triangle. Now this is the triangle connected to the straight bar pieces, which is the one we're going to need to use. Now from this position, the hinged part of the puzzle is going to fold over. I'm going to turn that around. So that is now going to represent figure three. In figure three, it shows the triangle and the rings moving up the side of the puzzle and the ring dropping down into the center. Now this is the best part of the puzzle. This is going to be figure four. And what's going to happen is these two rings are the key to the puzzle. One ring stays on one side of the straight bar. The other ring goes onto the other side of the straight bar. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow the distance here to be short enough to allow that ring to disengage. And that's the key to the puzzle. Now to go back on, it would simply be to put the ring back into the center bring it around, drop the ring to both sides, allow the ring to come back out and onto that triangle. And just where it started out, that's the beginning. That's the wise guy. Go ahead and try it.